So once upon a Saturday tour is there. Hey, Peyton Dodd are there for it. <laughs> Walk off from the logo, Jeremy. You gotta love it. Uh, shout out to Missouri. Again, we talked about this in the pregame, Jeremy. This line has crept down all week long from five and a half, four and a half, to three and a half right before kickoff. Looks like Vegas knew something we didn't know. Yeah, and that was one of the things that we were, you were talking about all game was the fact that the Vegas knew something. Yeah. Vegas knew something we didn't know. Uh, Coach Carl Reed joining us uh, here on HQ. He joins us from 24-7 in Nashville. Uh, Coach, your thoughts on this. Obviously, you got to have some ice in your veins if you're kicking a 61-yard field goal to win it at the end. Huge field goal right there at the end by Harrison Reeves. Great job, 61 yard of ice in your veins, like you said. Also, we have to talk about Brady Cook today. Mm. 23 for 35, two touchdowns. Brady Cook, St. Louis High School product, has been much maligned by that fan base for the Missouri Tigers. Played today with ice in his vein, didn't turn the ball over, made timely throws the entire game and led his team. Huge win at home today for the Missouri Tigers. Coach, you hit the nail on the coffin. I mean, Brady Cook had struggled throughout this season, even going back to last season. And then one thing we didn't talk about, Coach, he was kind of beat up in this game, right? Was knocked out a little bit, came back in. So you talk about a gutsy performance, throwing for over 350 yards. You talked about the two uh, passing touchdowns. But let's not forget, he had a rushing touchdown in this game also. So, again, we haven't seen this Missouri offense. We knew they could be dominant on defense. And the turning point for this game was that one interception that Will Howard had. Uh, Brady Cook didn't have one. Will Howard did yeah. at the end. Missouri has a chance to win it by three. And again, Nevis ice in his veins from the logo. And that, that's the thing with Howard. I mean, that's the one blemish. I mean, he he threw, a, he was 25 of 39 for 270 and three scores, but still uh, they lose this one. So when you look at K-State, what does this loss mean for them? I know what it means for UCF next week. They're getting a, 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 a pissed <laughs> off Kansas State team in Manhattan. But again, you saw things that you weren't accustomed to seeing from Kansas State. They usually are dominate on defense. There was some miscommunication on that first touchdown pass to Brady Cook. It looked like the corner thought he had over-the-top help with the safety. He kept looking back inside as the receiver ran right by him. Couple missed tackles that you normally don't see from a Kansas State team. Because we talked about this, Jeremy. This Kansas State team will hit you. They're yeah. a physical team. Saw too many missed tackles on screen plays. So, again, and they'll have to gather together and get ready for UCF, who a, a lot of people think could be a sleeper in the Big 12. I had Kansas State as my sleeper, even though they were rated the number two team in the Big 12. But this is a loss I don't think a lot of people saw coming. Again, Vegas might have saw it coming because yeah. the line crept down. But if you're Kansas State, you have to regroup before you go into league play. Coach, if you're Eli Drinkwitz, you're now 3-0. and What does this win mean for you? It means you got great momentum going into the rest of the season. And you got Memphis at home in St. Louis next week. So that should be a game that's a very winnable game for you. You're going to go in the SEC play undefeated. The game that everybody is looking forward to in the state of Missouri is when LSU comes to Columbia to play the Tigers. You should go into that game 5-0, and and you have a chance to do some special things this season if you're the University of Missouri going in the conference play with an undefeated record. All right, thank you very much, uh, Coach Reed, joining us from 24-7 in Nashville. Great to have you along with us and Leger Dusable here in our Fort Lauderdale studios. Boy, oh boy, big win for Mizzou today over Kansas State. They win it with a walk-off field goal. Harrison Mevis, 61 yards uh, for Missouri.